Hello and welcome to the Fab Shops SolarWorks tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to navigate the 3D environment of SolidWorks and how to create some basic features. We start by creating a new file. We want to create a part file, but you have the option of making an assembly or a drawing. A part file is a single object that you'll model. An assembly is two or more objects that are mated together to create an assembly and a drawing allows you to create uh, technical drawings or uh, assembly drawings to communicate your design. We will start by making a part. To start our part, we first will make a sketch. So click on the sketch tab and click on sketch. You will then be prompted to select a sketch plane on which you will make your sketch. So we click on the top plane, and now we can choose from these sketch tools. We have a line here, circle, spline, rectangle, etc. We're going to start by making a circle. As you can see, when I hover over the, the midpoint of the plane, it highlights it. So I'm going to click on the midpoint and then click again to create my circle. As you can see, I can change the diameter of the circle, but the center of the circle stays constant. This is because when I highlighted the midpoint, SolidWorks automatically created a concentric constraint. We will now dimension the diameter of our circle and make it 4 inches. Now that our sketch is done, we can exit the sketch and click on the Features tab, where we will select the Extruded Boss Base. The Extrude feature allows us to take our sketch and extrude it along a vector that is normal to the plane in which it was drawn. We can change the length of the extrude by simply dragging the arrow, or we can specify a value over here. So we will make the extrusion 5 inches long and hit OK. Now that we have an object, I will show you how to navigate the 3D environment. To zoom in and out, you will simply use your scroll wheel. To pan, you can, con uh, you can hold control and your middle mouse button down. To rotate the object, you will simply hold your middle mouse button and move the mouse around. SOLIDWORKS understands that any flat face in your part can be a plane in which you can draw or make a sketch. So by selecting this face and clicking on this option, we can create a sketch on this face. We now use the Offset Entities Sketch tool to select the outer edge of our cylinder. As you can see, it shows a preview of an offset circle that is offset by this dimension over here. We want to make this dimension a quarter inch. And we also want to reverse the offset so that the resulting circle will be inside of our cylinder. We hit OK and now exit the sketch. Now, in the Features tab, we want to select Extruded Cut. We're actually trying to make a cup here, so we would like to leave some material at the bottom. If I were to hit OK, the extruded cut would actually cut 5 inches of material and it would not leave a bottom. So what I want to do is go to this drop down menu and select the offset from surface option. It then prompts me to select a surface, which is this bottom one and then an offset, and I will make it a quarter inch. As you can see, the preview shows how SolarWorks will cut material out of the cup, but it will leave a quarter inch of material at the bottom. We now wish to make a handle for our cup. 
To do this, we start by making some reference geometry. Namely, we want to make a plane. To make a plane, you have to define uh, how the plane will be oriented in space. And you do that by selecting references. So we start by selecting the interface of our cup. Since this is a cylindrical shape, SOLIDWORKS assumes that whatever plane you're trying to make will be tangent to this face. For the second reference, we would like to pick uh, one of the planes that are native to the part, such as the front, top, or right plane. By selecting the front plane, SOLIDWORKS assumes that you're trying to make a plane that is both perpendicular to the front plane and tangent to the inside face of our cup. Once your reference geometry is fully defined, you will see a green fully defined sign, and you can click OK. By clicking on the plane and selecting the sketch option, we can now begin our sketch. To make things easier, we would like to view the sketch plane uh, perpendicular to it. To do that, we can select this option to get a normal view to our sketch plane. Now we're going to create a center line. Click on the origin point and drag the line straight up. As you can see, SOLIDWORKS has created a yellow indicator, which means that the line will be vertical. Click on the line, and you will see a dialog to the left. You want to click on infinite length. As you can see, this line is dashed, and this means that it is not part of our actual sketch, but it is more of a reference line. That means that any feature derived from this sketch will use uh, anything that is not dotted. But you can use the dotted entities as guides for your other sketch entities. Now that we're done with this sketch, we will exit. Select the front plane and make a sketch in it. Now we use the arc sketch tool and make a three point arc. We will start by selecting the center of the circle, which we just made, and a point along this line. Now to finish our arc, we would like to make it such that the center of the arc is on the line which was made in the previous sketch. Our sketch is now complete, and we click Exit. We will now use the Sweep Boss Base feature. And to do this, we must first click on the profile which we, which we wish to sweep, which is the circle over here, and our guide curve, which is the semicircle over here. We now have a simple handle. We can go back into our sketch and edit the way that our um, handle looks.
Now, we would like to add some finishing touches. To make the lip of the cup smooth, we can use a fillet command. By clicking on the fillet command, you can then click on the top face. And as you can see, it will round off the edges to make a smoother surface. We would also like to add a fillet next to the handle. We can increase the radius of our fillet by messing around with this uh, dialog. Lastly, we can simply hide this uh, sketch plane by clicking on the hide command over here. And now you're done. You have a cup which you have made in SOLIDWORKS.